What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. Today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4 Zombies. That's right, Black Ops 4 Zombies isn't that far away. We are probably around 4 months away right now to some kind of reveal of the actual Black Ops 4 game itself. And then probably around 5 or 6 months away from a real reveal of Black Ops 4 Zombies. And throughout Black Ops 3 Zombies we have got hints on what map we're going to be getting on disc. And also through interviews with Jason Blundell and other developers we have also got what we think is going to be the bonus map for Black Ops 4 Zombies as well. Today, we're going to be talking about those two maps. We're going to be putting all the evidence together. We're going to be having a look at what we could possibly be playing in 10 months from now when Black Ops 4 actually releases in the first week of November 2018. So if you guys are absolutely hyped about Black Ops 4 Zombies, if you cannot wait for the next iteration of Treyarch Zombies, absolutely smash that like button right now, boys. Let's aim for 2,115 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. And without further ado, let's dive straight into all the information that we're going to be sharing on Black Ops 4 Zombies. So right now, we have two release dates for Black Ops 4, or whatever that next Treyarch title is going to be called. Right now, I'm pretty sure everyone inside the community thinks it's going to be called Black Ops 4, and I think exactly the same way. They'd be stupid not to, everyone will buy it, and I think it's going to be an absolutely awesome game if they do. But those two release dates that we have so far that are confirmed, we do not know which one, but going off other Call of Duties, it's either going to be the 2nd of November 2018, or the 9th of November 2018. I'm thinking it's going to be the second because they normally choose the first Friday in November. So that's what we're going to be basing on right now. November the 2nd, 2018. So the Zombies map that we're actually going to be getting on disc needs to be super, super cool. Just like Shadows of Evil, everyone fell in love with it. It was a new crew, completely new surroundings, and it was so in-depth with the storyline and the gameplay, it dragged players in and made the game super, super popular before we got any DLCs at all. And this map needs to be exactly the same. Now, in my personal opinion, we have already actually received what this map is going to be. Now, this goes all the way back to the Eisen track, and we also got this again on Moon. Inside of both maps, there's three scraps of newspapers that we can actually find, and these are all talking about London. The first one is just talking about a parade in London, and there's nothing to do with zombies on there. But then on the second piece, we get this right here, which says zombie attack in the heart of London. And then a big image of London with zombies in front of there. Now, this image we've seen before, it was actually used in the promotional artwork for Shadows of Evil, but they've just photoshopped these zombies off this image and placed in front of a London setting. Now, it's exactly the same on both maps, Der Eisendrag and Moon, and this is what I think and a lot of the community does believe is going to be the on-disc map for Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now, we've never been to London before with zombies. We've never been to England at all. The closest we've ever actually been to being in England is Origins, which is set in France. So to have a brand new map in a brand new country should be really, really cool. And that's not to mention that Dr. Monty from Black Ops 3 also has an English accent, so we probably are going to find out a lot more of his background inside of this London map. So considering we've actually seen this in now two maps, the Eisendrag and Moon, the fact they've actually brought it back for Zombie Chronicles gives a little bit more to this theory as well. If you want to do this for yourself inside of the Eyes and Drag, it's super simple. All you've got to do is get yourself the Golden Plunger and then go inside the Command Room. You'll notice there's a newspaper on this table and then all you've got to do is kill a Panzer and then when you've got the fire effect on the Plunger, just kill a zombie. The newspaper will then change and you'll be able to see the London Attack newspaper. Now, even though we've never had a map inside of London or in England in general, there has been a reference to England in the zombie storyline and inside of Revelations. The house inside of the Spawn Room in Revelations is actually inside the code as a Sheffield house. Now, Sheffield is inside of England, is quite far away from London itself, but this does actually mean that maybe the zombie attacks happened there and then they've spread out to London. And that's going to be our on-disc map. Now, if we're looking over to what we're going to be getting as a bonus map, I think we're all in agreement at this time that it's going to be one and one thing only, which is going to be Mob of the Dead Remastered. If we look at this absolutely classic clip from JC Backfire's interview with Jason Blundell, he asked him why we didn't get Mob of the Dead Remastered inside of Zombie Chronicles and Jason Blundell says this. I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's another purpose for that at some point. 
Now, this could only mean one thing. That we're actually going to be getting a remastered map in the future. And the best time we're ever going to get this is probably going to be the bonus map. And if Treyarch look at what we got this year with World War II Zombies, where we just got the final Reich and then a little house to play in, it's not really allowed us to play Zombies all the way from November to DLC 1. A lot of people have been dropping off because it's got a little bit boring. But if we go back to Black Ops 3, having the Giants and also Shadows of Evil definitely lasted all the way to the Isendrag. And I think this will do the exact same if we have lunch and we also have Mob of the Dead Remastered. Now, considering we've already got a storyline based for Mob of the Dead Remastered where the actual OG crew go there to collect the blood vials, and we also now know that there's a laboratory underneath Mob of the Dead that Rick Tuffin has, this just gives a little bit more evidence and proof that we are going to be getting a Mob of the Dead Remastered at some point in the future. So there's our two maps that we are possibly going to be getting on Black Ops 4 Zombies. But let's talk about other things that could be in the game. So to start things off, let's talk about Gobblegums. Now, I know Gobblegums are a little bit of a weird subject right now because it's split right down the middle. People want them or they don't want them. And I think the majority of people do want Gobblegums to return. Once again, if we look at World War II zombies right now, they introduce consumables. And for me personally, consumables just don't change the game enough every single game. And it doesn't make it an interesting experience and make it different every zombies match you have. It's just the same thing over and over again. But inside of Black Ops 3, we have the option to jump in with different types of gobblegums. Yes, most people did just jump in with a perkaholic and an immolation liquidation and a shopping free so they can open everything up and get everything they need straight away. And that's completely fine. That's the way they want to play, then let them play that way. But I know some of you guys and myself in general love to go in and try out different things. The amount of times that I would jump into boss fights and try different gobblegums to have fun with, like killing time, like slaughter slide, different gobblegums like that bring a lot of variety to the map. Matches, and that's a reason why I think they're going to be coming back. As well as this, I did say to Jason Lundell during my interview with him that he should bring them back, and he seemed pretty positive with Gobblegums in general, and it sounded like he had a full team working on Gobblegums and naming the Gobblegums as well, which is a pretty funny part of that interview. Now, again, if they don't have Gobblegums, then you guys realize that there's gonna be a microtransaction system inside of there anyway. It's not up to Treyarch to bring a microtransaction system. It's down to Activision saying, they want one mainly because Activision are the publishers and they want to make as much money as possible because it's a business at the end of the day. And right now, considering the success of Gobblegums and how funny it was actually to have inside of Black Ops 3, I think Gobblegums are the best way to just let them place that microtransaction system inside of there and then we have Gobblegums inside of Black Ops 4. I think it'd be perfect to have that. It's a lot better than, let's say, buying weapons like people have to do in multiplayer. I just prefer the fact that we can jump into a game, have some Gobblegums if you want, and there you go. You have fun. You can earn them or you can buy them. Another thing inside of BO4 Zombies would of course be the weapons kits. Now to begin with inside of Black Ops 3, I didn't want to really get into weapons kits. I like the traditional jump in, get a weapon out of the mystery box, and you just play with that weapon. I liked that. And that's because I'm a person that doesn't like change. But once I actually learn what Black Ops 3's weapon kits are all about, it actually brings a lot more variety to the game once again. You'll see people with amazing camos on their weapons, with red dot sights, with holographic sights, and that brings more unique stuff for them personally personally as either a streamer or a YouTuber or just a player in general to look and they'll have a different experience than their friends. Plus it meant by ranking up that weapon and spending time on actually killing zombies with that weapon in zombies mode that you can unlock better attachments and therefore have a more fun zombies experience the more times you play. Meaning that you're going to come back and play a game because you want to progress in that way. And the final thing I want to talk about today is the ranking system inside of Black Ops 4. What do we want the ranking system to be? So far in zombies we've had three ranking systems. The first First one is no ranking system at all. Inside of World of War or Black Ops 1, we didn't have any ranking system at all. Inside of Black Ops 2, we had the most confusing ranking system I think I've ever seen inside a video game, and I still don't understand it to this day. And inside of Black Ops 3, we had what we always asked for, and I think that's the best thing that we could possibly get. 35 ranks, 10 different prestiges, a master prestige that you can do up to rank 1000. I think they did the most perfect ranking system inside of Black Ops 3, and I'm hoping that that ranking system gets placed back over to Black Ops 4 Zombies as well. So there you go. You guys can take what I've said about Black Ops 4. Let me know what you think about Black Ops 4 inside the comment section. Are you excited? We normally get some kind of Zombies reveal trailer during Comic-Con in San Diego, which this year is going to be Thursday 19th of July and on until Sunday the 22nd of July. So that's not even that long away. We are literally talking around six months from now. We are going to be getting a trailer for Black Ops 4 Zombies, revealing the on-disc map or even the bonus map as well. 
well. I can happily say that all of you guys, including myself, would go absolutely insane if we just see a trailer come on and it's Mob of the Dead remastered. But I'm going to let you guys decide inside the comment section what you think the on disc map is going to be and also what the bonus map is going to be. Let me know inside the comment section right now by leaving me a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Make sure you guys absolutely smash that like button right now as well if you haven't done already and subscribe if you are brand new and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching and peace out.